Welcome, kings and queens, to another episode of Unapologetic, your number one podcast. How do I, you know, make the biggest dent in the universe, right? Mm. Um, yeah, that's and it wasn't until like it wasn't until I got a little older that I started to to see the wisdom in and really just like feel passionate about impacting as many people's not even as many impacting people's lives in a deep way um, and doing that. Um, these days, I, I'm trying to be pretty intentional about doing that in West Michigan, uh, in, in the communities that I'm a part of. Um, but yeah, it hasn't always been the case. And I'm, 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 um, I'm finding myself much more intentional about it now. And I really admire people like you who, who that just seems to come naturally. Well, we thank you, man. I appreciate that for real. That's a that's a glow. That's that's one of the golden highlights from that day today. <laughs> no, well, yeah, I mean it. Yeah, but um, I I just uh, I just wanted to really cover like I had a um, have you done any workshops that benefit like the local communities? Mm -hmm. uh, I know you work with a lot of high end yep. individuals, but what yep. are some of the local uh programs or something that you have that you offer? Yeah, so we um, are like our, our standard executive coaching service covers all the different aspects of, of building an organization and and um, and sort of approaching the growth of an individual consciously. And that's available everywhere. Um, but over time, what I've found is that most of our clientele's uh, not in Michigan. It's all on the coasts and, and overseas okay. and stuff like that, which is just it's just worked out that way. So I've gotten pretty intentional about um looking at ways that I can plug into the, the West Michigan community and make an impact here. Uh, and one of the, the things that I've, I've been pretty excited about is I started with a business partner, Nadia Brigham, a, uh, an organization called Accelerate Equity, um, oh, which wow. is, yeah. think about it like, a, a, you know, it's like a, um, a leadership group that yep. is intended to toe the line between leadership development and racial equity work. Um, and as we've sort of dove into, you know, some of the systemic challenges of, of building a business with uh, black skin versus building a business with white skin in West Michigan, right? we've really had a chance to dive into that and, um, and start to unearth, you know, really see what that looks like, but see it from perspectives. Um, we have involved people, uh, some of the, some very influential people from all sorts, all sorts of different walks of lives. So that they can see themselves in the system um, mm. and start to, you know, make changes uh, given their purview, make changes with uh, with the companies that they run and the organizations that they lead. So that's a really exciting uh, project. Mm. We just got done with our first year, uh, our first cohort of Accelerate Equity. We had five high potential um, uh, black and brown entrepreneurs who are building, building scalable companies and then five uh, exited founders and investors and we put them into a um a group and and got pretty real for a period of nine months oh wow um, man i would have loved we're it. just now <laughs> so <laughs> we're just now spinning up the next cohort of that um i think comes in well it's probably going to come in early 2024 is when we kick off but we're we're putting wow. in the process now to to um you know recruit the right people and stuff so yeah it's it's uh, it's um as I sort of and, and talked to a whole bunch of people about like what was the challenges that people were facing in West Michigan, this was a really critical one. Right. Um, and it certainly right. taught me a ton uh, just getting involved in that world and learning, um, you know, how, how involved and personal and challenging those types of problems are. But um, oh, yeah, it's work that he's doing. Yeah. And, 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 it's, and it's good to hear that, you know, people in your position are starting to really, you know, tag that because we need help. You know, people who are not capable or don't have the voice or they feel like they're silence, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's, it's that's a real big thing and it makes a huge impact in the local communities, huge for totally. everybody. So, uh well, and you got to you got to have Nadia on your on your show as well. I think she'd be she's an entrepreneur. She's um uh, teaches me stuff every day she runs really uh, oh, Brigham, Come on Brigham on Consulting. for you yeah 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 she <laughs> runs that she's uh you know gr noir uh she and her husband yeah. Shakan built gr noir um, oh wow yeah she's she's a she's a, a you talk about a mogul Nadia's a mogul and she needs to be on here oh next. my god man i never 
See, I love this network, y'all. I love on the and that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, because the program, because I, uh, the program that you're launching in 2024, uh, I will, man, personally, I would love to be a part of it personally, because I know I know a lot of entrepreneurs, you know, mm -hmm. not just in West Michigan, like you said, but around the the country that that talk and call me about some great ideas, man. Like, oh my god. And they just need that extra push or that or that guidance or that help that they need asking for. And you know, now that you say that, I love that you have your team. You don't you don't really say you don't really call them your 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 partners or for real or anything. They're friends, you know. And I feel like that mm -hmm. makes a, co a company or organization differ from all the rest. You know what I'm saying? It it, it it's a mm -hmm. more of a family oriented type of feeling than walking in a factory and all right this is your job this is what you do go home at this time all right see you later <laughs> yeah you know what i mean so I'll oh man that. we gotta we gotta do better than that as as leaders and as managers um there's a close friend of mine who who framed the way that he manages really well and i i aspire to that um he described it as like i try to find i'm gonna totally bastardized how he says it, but I'm going to do my best. Uh, he's like, I try, I try to find um, what it is that my employees most want right? And out of their career, out of their lives. Like, what is it that they personally aspire to? Um, and then I try to use my organization to help them get it. Mm. And by aligning interests in that deep of a way, by starting with like, who are you, you know, as an individual, where do you want to go? Right. And then how do I, we collectively, uh, organize this this company in ways that allows you to either develop those skills or go that direction or meet those people, whatever it is, wherever it is that you want to go. Right. Um, how can we use this organization um, as a means of not only like, you know, making the organization successful, but um, helping you get to where you want to go, even if that's not here, even if you want to move on and go right. to, you know, you, you know, build and uh, uh, build your career in a different place. That's awesome. Like we want to help you to uh wow. to to go that way um so that's i mean he like i said he he says it much more eloquently than i but when i think about <laughs> the people that we work with that i work with um it's really just like we have similar passions and um you know we've come up with an organization that allows us to both do stuff that or both or all do the things that um that we think are important and want to do right. i think that's a great way to to um you know, to, to begin relationships. And then of course you get close with people as you go. Oh man, man, Ryan, I, I thank you so much for coming on to the show, man. I know you were busy. That was my pleasure. Busy, busy, but it, it this was an honor, man. It is amazing of what you have created, man. And in such a short time, <laughs> like you've been moving for your heart, man. It's incredible. But, uh, yeah. Well, Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was I was gonna say I really appreciate you uh, you having me on here for thinking of me and I'm glad that Carl connected us um, and I will I'll uh, I'm gonna text Nadia and say that that she's got to get in touch with you too so oh uh, yeah we'll, please, uh, please we'll get you going I, I I'll send you my contact information as well after this but ladies and gentlemen I thank you all for supporting Unapologetic your number one podcast man I'm your host Mr Unapologetic. And I want to say I appreciate you all for the, the viewers, the love, the comments. Please continue to share, like, and subscribe. I will have this King's information in the description below. Please read his newsletters, man. Subscribe to the page. You'll be surprised, but you find out I am. So uh, if you would love to come on to the show, please hit us up on the email. I'm open. I would love to have whoever's on the show, but please make sure you're passionate. This is a world full of passion. You got to have it. So uh, yeah. thank you, Ryan, man. I appreciate it. Please enjoy the rest of your day. And I welcome to the Unapologetic family. Uh, thank you so much, Mel. It's great to be here. Oh, uh, yeah. You too, man. Enjoy. We'll be in touch. <laughs> All right.